may have caused some distress or caused you to get stuck, right? And I know the process takes a lot of courage to actually identify some of those. Because, you know, sometimes our tendency is actually just overlook them, thinking that eventually in the future, we will be able to forget them and all of that. And that, that could be very true, but that is also the long process for having a breakthrough in your life. You get it? And, you know, a, a better perspective is actually for you to courageously confront what you're going through, courageously feel what you need to feel. Because as humans, what is normal for humans is actually to have emotions that go like this. You get that? The key is not to feel the emotion, but to manage the emotion. And managing doesn't have to be, you don't have to feel it, but really just regulating it. Are we here? Mature humans are willing to actually feel the emotions, but they regulate their emotions. Yes? Yeah. And what I actually do for you is for you to have an awareness, and then this is a long chain of process until you are able to regulate your emotions and take up your issues to the cortical level, and then we, you can get yourself more empowered. You get that? So just follow through because we're not yet done. We're almost there. I mean, like maybe 30% there, but we're not yet done. So I want you to still participate 100%. Do you get that? Yes. Are you still willing to participate right now? Yes. Can I have a level 10 yes right now? Yes. All right. Now you've identified some of circumstances or situation or issues that may have caused you to be stuck or distressed. And then you've also identified some emotions that have been dominant and that you're not able to, you know, effectively move forward because of those dominant emotions. Instead of focusing on your goals, Right? You were actually stuck in those dominant emotions. Now the thing about us is we're always like this. If we are not able to process it properly, those emotions and situation can actually form how we think about ourselves. You get that? Now, in our life, whatever you're going through, everything is just temporary. All the situations in your life are temporary. Yes. Agree? Agree. But do you know that certain situations in your life can become permanent? Yeah. Hello? Yes. yes. And you know how it becomes permanent to you so that it becomes your reality? Yeah. When you start to convert those emotions and circumstances and start to conclude about yourself because of those emotions. For example, when you start to conclude because of emotions you're going through, na ingani na go. Ingani yung kumu response sa kabutan. Dali ragit ka yung kumasoko. You get that? When you start to make a definition of who you are based on what you go through, apparently it can be permanent in your life. It is not permanent until it doesn't become part of the definition of your identity. Pero kita, we're so bad at it. We are so bad that when we go through something, Ang mga sa tuwa, sisiyo na ako kung kagalingon, ingali magod ko. Awa lagi yun, buhong yun ko kayo. Limalas yun ko kayo. Then it becomes a permanent part of us because whatever you define at the identity level becomes your obsession subconsciously. Hello? Yeah. And you want to stay consistent based on that. Now, it becomes a very strong pathway in your brain and the way you will see situations now will be evidence of what you believe about yourself. So, kung may yung magbalasog, yung kukaayong sa parang mga naitabo, guess what? The rest of the circumstances will follow. You will, your brain will start to treat that as evidence na malasog yung ka. And you will see these circumstances as if, so that it becomes so real to you. Are we here? Yes. Did you get that? And that is why these emotions are actually magnified. Because subconsciously, we create conclusions out of them. Are we here? Do you know that it's not automatic for you to feel some emotions? Hindi siya, hindi siya universal. Are we here? It doesn't mean to say that you just had a break up with somebody very important to you that you need to be heartbroken right away. Hello? Yes. It doesn't mean to say that you failed at accomplishing your goals, that you feel like you are a failure. Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Because the situations in your life 
are not equal to emotions. It is actually the meaning that you add to the situation that, be that becomes emotions to you. So, mas kaya pag bakura mo na gulag ay to somebody important to you, pero kung ang meaning ala para sa iwa is finally, I have the freedom to pursue the life that I want, then you don't have to be heartbroken. Compared to somebody na kakabulag lang nila, and the meaning para sa iya is, grabe, bibiyaan ko, yung anong nagiday ko kapangit. And he made it, she made a conclusion na pangit yung day ko. And then every single relationship that follows apparently will follow the same pattern. Not because, number one, because of the person that person attracts. And second, because that person actually becomes like a prophet of her own life because of how you have to find yourself. No. It's so easy what your future is going to be. You just listen to the person kung paano niya dinidefine yung kailangan mo sa sarili niya. Ngayon, sa dami ng dinaanan mo, E di masyadong disempowering yung definition mo about yourself. Tama ba? Yes or yes? Yes. And you started to add meaning. At eto pa, ang naging meaning sa'yo is so disempowering. This evening, yes? And guess what? Whatever meaning you put into that situation becomes your life. You create end. Whatever you do in life is just a continuation of the story that you are believing in. Yeah. If you believe na malason ka, if you believe that you're not good at sales, if you believe, and, and it becomes the story that you follow. Hello? Tala ah. decisions na dinabuhat ni mo sa iyo pinabuhay, apparently becomes a continuation of the past. Because you're so convinced that that's your story. Sure. And if you are able to change that story, you can change your life. Correct. That's how it is. But you cannot change the story unless you change your identity. Yes. And we will get there. They come on shortcut towards that because there is a process. And this is exactly the process where I'm getting you in. So is everybody on board right now? Yes. yes. Right? The meaning that you have attached to those situations that made you cry, that made you sad, that made you angry, became the emotions not necessarily because of the facts around it. That was your perception. That was the meaning you added to it. That is, that's how you saw it. Pero mag-away mo sa mga tao because mga tao, that's not exactly how they saw it. Right? O na mag-away ang mga couples because the wife perhaps saw it this way and the guy saw it in a different way. Because they assigned different meanings to the same event. And whatever the meaning is becomes your story. And whatever story you follow in your mind predicts your future. Hello? That's why you're playing small. Because that's the story you follow in your mind. Nagamay yun ka. Napupri rin yun ka. Naing ana rin yun ka. Permanente ni mo balik-balik kung sa'yo mong kagulingon. Kung naing ana rin yun, permanente ang iyong outcome. Kung naing ana rin yun, kung naing opportunity mo abot sa'yo mong mudili man ka, kaya nga naman, it's not consistent to your story. Kung sa'yo ni mo pagdili, mahalo ka sa nagko ng opportunity. Kaya nga naman, in your story, gamay ka. In your story, pupri ka. That's why mahalo ka mag-invite ang mga taong sikat. Mahalo ka mag-invite ang mga taong big time. Because in your mind, you think you're small. In your mind, you think you're insignificant. But you don't have any basis at all that they will not respond to you. You are consistently just following a continuation of your story. So what we want to happen right now is that you stop following that story. If it's empowering enough, you follow it. You get that? I'm just probably so blessed, maski po primi kay sa natanan, that I have a mother who would always tell me because she told me when I was 18 and I gave up my life to our Lord Jesus Christ. And I was like, the first part of my adult life was actually out in the bukid, in the bundoks and bukid, because I was serving as a volunteer missionary. Because exactly that's how I wanted it. And that's the reason why I wasn't able to finish college. Because I felt like I really wanted my life to count for God. I went to Muslim communities. I went to communities in the Philippines that you never thought existed. Do you know that there is Tao Bato in the Philippines? Hmm? Literally people living in Batos. Do you know that? You don't know that, right? No. We've been to those places. Hello? And I felt like my life had to count for something bigger than myself. Are we here? At that time, actually, I was the Mindanao correspondent for Sari Manok, which later became ANC. But I said no to that because that was not the story in my mind. 
I did not finish college because the story in my mind is that why would I finish college if what I really wanted in my life is to add value to people and I'm at this book in. You get that? It's probably a wrong decision, but in the end I thought, no, it's not. And I thought it was the end of my life when nahuman ako kung tawag si Ginoo dito sa bukid and then I couldn't get a job. Right? And then I said, malasa sa kong kinabuhi. Very wrong decisions that I did not finish college. But later on, I figured out, if I finish college, I probably end up with, as an employee. But it forced me to become an entrepreneur. That is why at 27 years old, I became a millionaire. And shortly after that, I started to earn over a million per month. Because I chose not to be employed, not because I chose to, not to be employee, but because I was forced not to be an employee. Hello? You get that? Yes. And it was an ever-changing. But the backbone of all that is because I had a mother when I was 18 years old. So ko kaya siya nga mag-volunteer ko. So ko kaya siya stanan niya akong ibang buhat. And then suddenly, ingot siya, Lord, unsan naman niya akong anak na iyang papa na paralyzed, hindi man mo tabang na mo. And then she had a dream. And in her dream, kirimind siya sa ginoo, nag-ipa-abort na ko niya sa una. And then sa iyang ka-guilty, sa iyang pagpa-abort, kinikapit mang ginoo ko, ingot siya, Lord, kung ma-normal lang niya akong anak, ako anong i-offer sa iyo. I don't own this kid. And then at the time when she was like, "Sum ni ako na, iklamo siya sa mga silingan sa tanan kung 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 and since then, I would hear my mother telling me, you are created for something bigger. Wow. I became a millionaire at 27. Di pa'y kay kong kaingon sa kong mama, niya niyong mungingon lang siya, anak, happy ko sa imuha, but you are created for something bigger than that. So in my mind, ang story ka na sa kong una-una, I'm created for something bigger. There's no stopping to what I'm accomplishing in life. Not for the sake of accomplishment, but simply because at the identity level, I know I'm created for something bigger. Why do you think would I apply for a master's degree without a college degree because I know that the policies in school are small enough for where I am created to be. How many people just skip college and master's to go straight to bachelor to doctorate degree? How many do you know in the Philippines? Nobody, right? But why did I experience that? Am I intelligent? No. I just believe I'm created for that. I grabbed it. And I convinced universities and told them it's insignificant ang akong background pag about sa akong studies. Because what's important is the now. And you have to listen to what value I carry now because of my experience. And they said, we'll give you a try. Hello? Hi. Are we here? Yes. And they were so surprised by the grace of God. And by the grace of God as well, I kind of performed. I'm always, you know, I'm all, I always end up every time for every challenge at highest distinction. Which means I always end up at the level, kung naapay mga Latin honors at that level, I always end up with a summa cum laude level. Without a college degree, without a master's degree, definitely. Because I'm created for something bigger. Yes. You're not created. You're not created sa mong utang. Kung yan, anong mahilak mang kaskada ko sa iyong utang? Ba't pasabot gamay kayo mong pananaw sa iyong kogalingon na mas dako ang utang na iyong pananaw? And you know why you're not getting a breakthrough? Sa iyong kagool sa iyong utang? You know why you're not getting a breakthrough? Because that's the story you follow. In your mind, you're smaller than your obligations. You're smaller than the rank that you want to get. That's the story you follow. Hello? Hi. So, you've mentioned kagaina on sa may ang inyong mga kipangagihan and you were saying nga ni mga kibati. What meaning if you go back to that moment where you became very emotional? What meaning did you attach as a conclusion about yourself because of what you went through? Because you have to dig deep at the subconscious level, right? Kaya nga no, the reason why you're not having a breakthrough right now is because you attach a meaning that kept you from having a breakthrough. Hello? Are we getting these guys? Yes. So what meaning 
did you attach? What story do you recall or tell yourself about that situation you just shared in your group? What story do you tell yourself about yourself? Unsay na imo ni mong conclusion at imo ni agihan. Tungod sa imo ni bati. Unsay giingo ni mo sa imo ni kogalingon. Silently. What story were you following? Dili kin siguro ko para ani. Dili siguro yung ko mag-goal director. Dili kin siguro ko madato. Okay na gyud ni makabaligya ang one pair. Hello? Hi. You were following that story. It sounds like a joke, but it's reality for most of you. And that's why you're never able to run advance or even make your life better. Ama? Because that's the story you concluded in. You're stuck in that story right now. So find out unsay meaning emong gibutan about yourself sa imong gihagihan. And it might not be related to Yuzana. You might say, I'm not a good husband. Adin gudai kong maayo. Biya unun gudai kong natawo. Hello? Yes or yes? Yes. And many more. With gudai ko. Dili gudai kong kasalingan. And I'm sure you've had that in your mind. You get that? So go back to it right now. Dig deep. What meaning did you tell yourself about yourself because of what you went through? Whether in the past or recently or a recent situation during the pandemic. Write it down. Go. Alright? Di pala. Go back to your circles right now. Okay? What meaning did you attach? Kung sa'y nagsuhod sa'y mga una-una, galing yun ako. Alright? That you think is keeping you from moving to the next level. Kung sa'y mga una-una. Di ko maayaw ang prospecting. Di ko maayaw maging ani. Para lang yung kudiri. Wala lang yung kong mao na ni Yuzana. O wala lang yung kong mao sa kong kagalingon. Get that? Ngani na yung kulit na yung sexy. All right, come on guys, share, share. What meaning? Go. A lot of the realities we live in are not real. They're dictated, and you dictated it on yourself. Everybody, go. Again, only three minutes per person. Maximum of four people in the group. Go. Oh, I. <laughs> because of nga nung wala po yung apply, I'm not ready for relationship. <laughs> for how many years? Then I'm kana rejection lagi. Maotong ko ay kay marich hadlok maricheck na hadilik ko. Niya love na ever When it comes to family, you know? What story do you tell yourself about yourself? Personal, eh? Personal. I'll take your family. What story do you tell yourself about yourself? What story do you tell yourself about yourself? Hindi, ang nasod, ang nasod ang unang na 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 naka naka receive po rejection sa akong pamilya sa pagsuro ng akong mama na ah, padaya na na kay makinangin mo anak na na hindi na ka makapunto sa iyo sa iyo mong work sa iyo mong work sa iyo mong job as post guard ka ng kuhaan ka ng makuhaan na ka ma-intimidate ng mga nauna sana yung sana ako nakuhaan ko mura kay si Sometimes of kind of discouragement. Kanya, kana na ko anak ko na hindi sumita na. Mao na siguro ni ang ang kaniyang yasan na mao na ni ang kaya tapos na sa ko ama. So ko ano to to become more to ano yun kana productive na siguro. Diri na nako mapain na nako ultimate success yung yasan na pero grabing discouragement na mura gipo gilugmuk yun ba? 
This is based on experience also. God will not uh, lead you to something that will fall you. It will lead you to build you as a person, to build you as the, kind of a blessing to other people around you. Okay, like ako? Dili, dili raman ko siya na sa family rin ako. Kasi yung time sa ako mga best friend ko. Like that? Yeah. Mga mga yun. Bombay ka o Yeah, <laughs> something bigger ba na that we can do to prepare ourselves to prepare our emotions, groupings, to prepare our undivided attention and our mindset tanan kay grabe gid ka bombard ko dagong experience sa negativity grabe gid before as kana syempre bata pa started bombard na kag mga suho ana ana i don't care i have my dream ako na pa-receive ko ganun ko when ako siya ko ay kana challenge to myself na okay just not me kay actually experience sa bata pa ko di mo dako ra ka maguna sa bukid kay bukid sa micros mananggi og mais ko dili ko ay experience maguna ang tubuhan but this is not the life that I will choose. So, talaga ni gawas ko. Working student, nakapin, finish, tanan. So, ikaw di pwede. So, I realized then lately na my future for me to help and to kind of to fulfill my my dream na an or organization that will help um, less fortunate people na mag-ascent ko mga estudyante at may eskwela ko so I need to build my ano, resources na, na for me to be stable so we hiyaan ako sila ka ito mga tao na nag-look down sa kwasa una magkita men, they're, they're all kuan, kaya nawas lang ako ba ito eskwela, they're all high school graduates or wala pa yung mag high school, wala na yung tali so, pagkawad ko nito, simple na po Ano nila, pero Kabalo ko na sila itong mga tao Mga nag-look down sa ako sa una Even may relative sa mother side Sabi yun, hindi nila ko Wala ko giila Kaya ako raman ang anak sa gawas Ang nanay, hindi nila giila At karon Hindi nila ko Last 8 minutes to share it end of the day, they will congratulate you. And that is part of our life, actually. Uh, experience na kanang blessed lang po ko because of mga advisor ni Lapo Sanchez, na mga, na, mga leaders niya na close with me. I always ask them kana importante ang acceptance, forgiveness. Muna akong gihihimus yun. For me to move on, to move forward, to step up, I need to forgive everything what has happened and accept. So, I'm okay. 
10 of the day, kanang, this is my life, this is how I build my, kanang, si tawag ani, the, the story of my life. So, yeah, di kong sana ako na I will be more, kanang, si tawag ani, na I purpose pa. And the purpose or na we are, kanang, discovery here. What's so, the purpose there nga? Ano na ako here? Here on earth. Actually, I asked that to my son. What is my purpose? Why I'm here? Why I am exist? Um, my existence here on earth. What's the purpose? 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 your inner self nga nung inana inana ko mo inana kalalong ko ang mga kuwan okay ano po kalalong akong pains mga pains in life kasakit I cried a lot mga inana before so sige na following your life eventually becomes reality not because it is really the reality but simply because you create it. You always create a reality, situations, through your decisions because of the subconscious stories that you follow in your life. You get that? Yes. That's where the problem is. And it becomes reality because whatever the story is, what you tend to make decisions, that will become an evidence to support that story. You create decisions or favor decisions that would become an evidence to support that story. Yeah. While on the other hand, dili kaganahan sa mga nahitabo, tama? And you would wish there's something else happening, but at the subconscious level, you are already anchored to it. And that is where the struggle comes in. And that is where you get confused. And that is where, you know, something stops you from moving forward. Tomorrow you will understand the effect of that in terms of your performance, but the whole day what I want you to have is a deeper understanding of what you're going through, and then later on taking charge to rewrite your story and rewrite your identity. Is that a wonderful experience so far? Yes. yes. All right, great. So, now I'll show you manifestations. I'm going to stories in one degree, I'm going to meaning, right? It could actually create manifestations in your body. When you are distressed, and it's causing stress, hopelessness, and all of these emotions in your heart and in your mind, right? A tendency, Anna, is it starts to manifest in your body because that is how it is. The brain is always the CEO of the entire body, and so whatever happens to the brain, eventually the body also executes. Do you get that? Yes. Now, when you are under distress, you will find yourself either under fight, which means when you are triggered, or you are under Correct. flight, which means right? It is also a sign that you are in denial that the situation is happening. Are we here? You are still under denial. That is still a sign of being stuck and being distressed. Eventually, it will have a toll on you. Lastly, it could be freeze. Because you don't want to be involved in anything and you don't want to make any decisions at all. Are we here? Yes. You get that? Some would have manifestations in the body because of the cascade of too much stress. A manifestation is that you are not able to do it. 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 You are not able And all of that. And suddenly, di ka kasabot sa ibang dibati, di ay ito nagsugod lang to atong particular situation that triggered it. But it wasn't the situation. It was the meaning you gave to it, and then you started to feel in a certain way. Now that feeling manifests through your body. It could manifest through a pain. It could manifest through a headache. It could manifest in different forms. Ang pinaka na kong manifestation for others, magkulong na lang sila sa nagbalay, di na magpakita na to sa mga mga tao. Hello. So, very quickly lang, quickly on this part, I want you to share in your group, what's your manifestation ani sa imuang body? Alright? What have you felt in your body? What were some of the habits 
Now, this part is actually very tricky because this is actually where habits are created. Hello? Yeah, because it manifested yes. in your body, you think it is reality. Because now you cannot deny it anymore because it is backed up by Pirmi Kapuyon. It is backed up by Pirmi Slugger, whatever. It is backed up by Waidana or anything. Then you start to think that's really your reality. But underneath that are actually just situations that might have triggered the stress or you getting stuck. Are we here? So discuss that in your group right now. What has been the Pansinimunga manifestation in your body that has kept you from moving forward in terms of, you know, in your becoming and also unleashing your potential? Come on, go. Very quick, lang, it's good about one minute, one and a half minutes per person. But I feel so we should be done by six. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's keep on moving forward. Yes? Yes. Okay, Baba? Yes. All right. So there. Malapit, Baba. Kapi feel mo naman na pwede nang mag-breakthrough konti? Yes. Have you moved naman from the emotional part to this part already? Yes. All right. You're about to be ready to actually transform those situations into some, from setbacks to stepping stones. Okay? Yeah. Let's continue right now, okay? So right here, after that, because of so many things that are happening emotionally, physically, makita nyo din mo ang change in you, right? Kaya mo yung muna tayo ka na wala na naging itong dating ako. Murag na wala ang itong dating kikil pa kayo ko. And now, what you wanted is that I hope that what I just point where you say kumubali lang punta ng dati. Banat yun ko. Familiar? Because that is where you are at. It's already that stage. It now manifests in the body, right? And it adds more frustration because of you wanting na mabali to, but yet you don't know anything what's happening inside of you. You couldn't explain it. But I learned about the power punch that now you can explain it to yourself. Right? Yes, yes or yes? Yes. So, you spend a lot of time waiting for your breakthrough. And a lot of time waiting for the right moment. Yes? Yes. Because the reality that you are feeling, thinking, and doing are so far already from what you really want to accomplish in your life. Yes or yes? Yes. Now, the thing is, there's also pressure from other people. Right? Deep good. inside you're coping, but because you are in Yuzana, you're expected to be at high level all the time. At high level of energy all the time. But some of you are so stuck because you never got to deal with it. And yes, we could explain that. Because for some of you, it might take a lot of time if you're going to deal with it with yourself. That's why we have a program like Power Punch, so that in just one day you deal with it. Yes? Yes. So are you happy that you are here right now? Yes. So, inside you're coping up, but outside you have to cover up. Leader Weyaka. Dapat kuya Weyaka permi. Dapat di ba makita ng weakness kina sa imo sa imong family kasi may discourage kung sila. And that is where the difficulty of balancing. How can I cope up if I don't give time to just be honest with myself? Right? But for most of us, the default has been to cover up. Hello? So that outside you're tough, but inside you're crumbling. Very true. That's where the problem is. Because you build an organization of hollow people. People, people who are crumbling inside but only strong outside. So that one issue can really topple down everything. And that's how most of you are building your family in, on. Most of you are building your success on. Because you were not honest enough to go through a session like this. Yes? Yes. Just go through it. That's why I told you it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of bravery. Right? Can you change a person in one day? Yes. Yeah. Neurologically speaking, definitely yes. 
It will take time for the rests, right? But you can make that moment of the word. But sometimes it's just too difficult to make that decision. Nakatesting ka na, sige, luya mo yung kuro mo, decide na ko, di na ko maluya. Di na ko maluya, four hours, I can try to ka. Pero pag kulitin mo ka lang, ikaw lang isang, luya mo, diri ako. How come, luya mo, diri diri sa sunod? Why? Because they're unsettled. And your strategy was only about cover-up. It's not authenticity of strength from the deepest level. Are we here? Yes. Do you get that? Yes. Guys, remember, they're not just human doings. Their value is not just in your doing, you are human beings. And for you to be a solid human being, you've got to deal it from the inside out. But the problem, what adds more pressure, is the cover up. Right? Because you have to put on a face. You have to put on a faith, uh, 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 you know, a strength without basis. Hello? But I want you to be courageous. I challenge you to be courageous. And so far, you have been courageous yes. with the process that we've done. You were transparent. And you know it takes a lot of courage to be transparent. Yes. You know that it takes a lot of courage to admit failure or to admit mistakes yes. or to admit weakness with we just did. So if I were you right now, oh, come on, give yourselves a hand at this point in time. Come on. Externally, right? But yet, for the longest time, that has been your strategy. Yes or yes? Yes. Ama? Ama. Correct. And I still need to congratulate you for that. Because you were the mother. Nakapoy na kayo. Wala kay tulog. Pero kung kawas kayo kasi mong balay, mas kihalo kay kag COVID because you need to feed your family. Yes. And a lot of you probably have forgotten that. That you are the brother or the sister. Hindi na kaanos matulog para magplano lang. So that mabayra na twist shot sa imumangod. You have to, you had to do things apparently to step up to your responsibilities. Right? Yeah. And perhaps for the longest time you have not even thanked yourself for that. You have to draw strength as well from the things, not just from, you know. We don't just talk about this so you would realize how weak you are because you're not. That's not the point here. It's normal to go through what you're going through and you don't have control over it. You get that? Well, weak as you are, you can be strong as well. Yes. But not only externally. I would like to, what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't need a cover up because you are strong inside. Yes. You just have forgotten about it, forgotten identity. And that is what we are trying to recover here. Not a cover-up, but to rediscover who you really are. Yeah. You get this? But for the longest time, you try to survive with a cover-up. To tell others, I'm okay when you're not. But, umot kayo. Okay na lagi ko, pero kerti umota. Huwag yung breakthrough, breakthrough. Huwag mabot mo ng breakthrough, di ka malipayon. Because it's external. Yes or yes? yes? Yes. It's about time that you really empower yourself authentically. Enough of the cover-up. So, what you need to share in your group right now is what do you project to people just to cope up? Just to show you're okay. Be honest about it. Get that? Share to your group again. Two to three minutes per person. On sa may mong ipagkita sa pamilya, sa mong tao, sa mong downlines just to cover up. But you know it's just a cover up. And you wish that your internal reality would match with your external reality. But the truth is, the external reality looks beautiful, but inside it's so hollow. So this process will tell you exactly where you should be. All right? It takes courage to admit, I've just been covering up. To be accepted. To think people like, to, to people are valuable. Come on, guys. Breakthrough very soon. Yes! Okay.
Okay, everybody, flexibility. It's time to move forward. Okay. So, listen. Let's go to the next phase. It started with a situation 